She's had these pets since they were tiny, just days old. And they're a Rottweiler lab mix. And Sharon Hip loves all five of them. A mama and four pups. But right now, some neighbors aren't liking any of them. They say the dogs are terrorizing their small Saluda community. The dogs are um, aggressively barking when um, parents or children walk past. Um, they come to the edge of the bank and bark. Saluda Elementary School principal Ronette Dill says being just two blocks away is too close for comfort. The, you know, if the dogs were to get out, it would be very easy for them to come on this property. And that has sparked fear and complaints. Many complaints have flooded City Hall. People want something done about Hip's dogs. On Monday, Commissioner Leon Morgan made a motion at the city council meeting to have a camera put in downtown to tape the dog's behavior. Hip says that's unfair. They have never bitten anyone. They've never come close to biting anyone. She says her dogs never leave the property. And besides, there's no leash law to keep them from leaving the property. But she keeps them home for their safety. This is the shock collar we use. Each dog is wearing one. The collar shocks the dog if it goes beyond the edge of the yard. My concern is if one of the dogs started to come over the hill, I don't think the dog itself would be able to stop itself before getting to the sidewalk and the children. Hip says that won't happen. She says the dogs are friendly and won't harm a soul. As for the city, it'll have a camera watching <laughs> just to make sure of it. In Saluda, North Carolina, I'm Charmaine Brown, News Channel 7.